Oh, there's so many plates in my backyard. Making my cheese wheel. Good to see the ghost is back. Why are you going upstairs to wash that? In the bathtub? Are you just going to be Sadie's gentlemen? It's noisy. That's mean. We're back for episode three of Veda G Face Gets That Home Chef Hustle. Now, I have watched a couple other simmers test this pack, and consensus is that you're not going to make a lot of money selling things. But we're in it. We're in it to win it. So here's what we're going to play for. We're going to play to see if we can get married before the time frame that we need to get married. And then I also might play a little bit further into that. I'm not sure why my voice just did that. But anywho, I might play a little bit further into that because I've never seen the Repo Man come in my game. And I'm actually pretty interested to see that happen because I don't think I'm going to be able to pay my bills. It is good to know Though that it's not just me because I thought it maybe my kitchen was too small and people couldn't get to me. But even when I've seen some simmers go ahead and take their stand out in the open, they're only making about $100 to $150 a day. So cost to profit margin is like 40 bucks. So now I don't feel bad, but you know, we're, we're going to manage all the chaos that it is. And I truly hope that you're enjoying this series. That's a really long intro. Let's jump in. Got my super cute hair today because I went with my mom to the dinner theater. I also do really like the new curler I have. It's one where you press a button and it pulls your hair in and then it curls it for you. It takes like 20 minutes. I was afraid at first that my hair was going to get caught in it. It hasn't yet though, so hooray me. Welcome to uh, the game. You know, it's four in the morning, so what better time to... To open our shop, but first we're hungry and some of our animals awake. Of course, Todd is up here, so we gotta give Todd a little pet. Fan moves? I didn't know that. All of the things I never noticed in the Sims. We have the best relationship with Endeavor, and that's probably because that horse needs us for everything. Oh man, there's a dust bunny. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to vacuum you up, little guy. I'm sorry, this is an animal cafe, but you know, maybe not animals that are made out of dust. And then we do need to vacuum this too. Oh no, is my cat sick? Oh no! Get ready, man, cause I'm coming for you. I'm gonna vacuum you up. I'm gonna clean a plate. I'm gonna clean up whatever that is. Why are you going upstairs to wash that? In the bathtub? How much are vet treats? Do I even have enough money for that? <laughs> I'm legitimately stressing out right now. Okay, let's go then, Tails. Let's you and me to the vet. We're gonna go. We're here at the vet. Good to see I uh, didn't come in my chef outfit. But I'm gonna come on in here. And I'm gonna... God, how much are vet treats? Someone tell me. Oh, those are only $50? Yeah, better give me, like, three of those then, since I've got a lot of animals. And then I'll just go give this to Tails. All right, Beta G-Face, get in there. Go go give that vet treat to Tails. You are going to make Tails all better. It's going to be fine. I love these bushes back here. That's so stinking cute. Yep, that's... Don't, please don't be sick anymore. My horse needs me, apparently. Of course my horse is starving because can I still not do this? I can! Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to have to mark the food up the highest it can go today. Because at this point, we still can't pay our bills. And that, that is an essential. Do I care that the cat is scratching this wooden bench outside? Because, like, I kind of don't. I do care about the inside. But I don't really care about the outside. Markup prices, 300%, girl. You gotta make some mad money today. Oh, Marcus is here. I still don't... I don't know if... Uh, Veda G is gonna get married to Marcus. But we'll tell him a funny story. We'll ask him about his day. It's it's fine. Buy, also, maybe buy mac and cheese. If he doesn't buy any mac and cheese, that's a deal breaker. So Endeavor only has low fun. I'm sorry, Endeavor, but you're going to have to wait until I have a free moment. Don't mind me looking at the wall there. Sims camera be doing what it's doing. 
we're going to see if we can convince some people to buy things. Be like, hey, notice how my kitchen is super clean, even though there's a million animals? Yeah, go ahead and, and pet them. That's the text about it. Let let everyone know. Oh, we must have sold some sort of mac and cheese because this plate is empty. Let's just put that in. Does this sink not work? We'll just move it over there like that. We still have counter space. It's fine. Let's check on the animals. Let's see what they're doing. Tails and sweater vests are out here. Tails. Uh, that's not even tails. That's my fox. He's sad for some reason. Big Pick is out here. Uh, this cat's throwing up. Tails is throwing up. Holy crap, Tails! I just took you to the vet. What is your problem? Um, anyway, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, person, for mopping up after my cats. Uh, you don't work here, but thank you so much for your wonderful... What is wrong with this cat? I'm genuinely concerned that this cat is dying. It says it's fine. Actually, it says it's happy. So maybe it's just there to sabotage my existence. This lady's talking about vampires. I'm like, no, same problem. The vampire just comes to my house. Good to see the ghost is back. Oh no, the evil rival ranch hand is back to steal all of our horses. Ah, oh, she's got to use the restroom. How urgent is that, girl? You got some time. You're fine. We need to try to finish this food sale. Hello, Marcus. It's good to hear your voice, Feta. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Candy Bay here a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. I don't know who that is, so, uh, it's your choice. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of, a uh, convince to buy mac and cheese all around since that's the higher selling item. Wait, a G-Face wanted to make jokes about grilled cheese here. My primary is wiggity whack right now. I don't know what's going on. Look, my food sale's almost done, though. So I can I can use the restroom oh, soon. Yeah. This dude is totally flirting with us. Hello, old lady. Calling about my kids again. Um, I still don't have any. I'm trying to run a business. So if I say sure, will you clean my house? I have nowhere for you to stay. But I'm really tempted. If she calls us every single day, maybe on the last day, then we'll honestly say, like, sure, whatever, mate. Nancy Landgrab, buy this mac and cheese. You know you want to buy it. My food sale's done. Almost done. It's done in two minutes. Ada has started building the fledgling entrepreneur I can read through hustling to build this skill. Fame, but most for... But most fortune awaits. I got a fame point. I made twenty eight dollars. So one freaking mac and cheese, one freaking breadstick. Look, we're gonna have to game plan. I know that was gonna be all we would sell, but then we didn't sell any tacos. I have to give you a bath every episode. So far, we're getting the the romance with Simeon and Paolo. It's pretty even Stevens right now. Thank you again, lady, for uh, mopping up all this stuff. I should really know this, lady. Um, we should actually be besties. No, come back! Come back! Gotta clean both of these litter boxes again. Because they're never clean. Why don't you come on upstairs, Big Pick? We gotta give you a bath. Since you are eternally dirty. <laughs> freaking cutie is. So we will make an entire wheel of cheese. It's still in the vein of the sales, okay? Our cat. Don't scratch my sho my sofa. Don't scratch my sofa. I like how whenever she needs to have fun, I just have her like go talk to a bunch of her animals. And then she's fine. She's like, this is great. Hello, unknown caller. The drop off has been made. Don't be late. Well, I don't got time. Making my cheese wheel. You know, Tails, sometimes you wonder why it's sick. And then other times I think it's because you be out here licking random puddles, okay? Oh, Pickles and Sweater Vest are playing together. All my horse is out of hay. And there's manure I gotta clean up. We don't got time to eat a short snack now, okay? We spent all the afternoon mopping up puddles and taking care of our animals. So we gotta restock this. I seriously love giving Sims different walks. If you ever want to have fun in your game and just watch people, like, be weird and stuff, just give a couple random people the vampire walk. You know which one, the creepy one? 
and it'll be great. I know you're stressed about getting married, girl. Just sell your cheese, okay? Marcus Flex would like to come over and hang out today. Is that okay? If you're gonna buy something, Marcus. Oh, I didn't even notice this fire got lit. First of all, please don't start my house on fire. But yes, pickles work your magic. So these people will buy my food. You will see today that I have put my mac and cheese and breadstick making talents to making an entire wheel of cheese. It's so gigantical that you should buy some and you should eat it. Hey, Veda, we'd love to have you in the upper crust. What do you think? Well, I think I'm already part of a club, and I think that I'm working right now. So, no? Dude, this ghost, you all missed it. This ghost just flew in right by the cheese and was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, Marcus, tell him to cut it off. Yeah, tell him why are you scratching that sweater vest. I think we've sold, like, one mac and cheese or one cheese slice. I don't really know. Just gonna fast forward through the rest of our day here. We're exhausted. Oh, we made $76. So you're telling me everybody bought my mac and cheese and breadsticks, but nobody bought my wheel of cheese? This, this is a face of a satisfied customer. Also, why is this lady giving like the hardest side eye? Beta G face needs to eat. So we're gonna have her eat some tacos. Her face. Bon is low and her energy is also low, but I feel like we should have her make that plate stay in there until the morning. I feel like we should have her make something for tomorrow, for Friday morning. What can we have on Fridays? Cheesy eyeballs? <laughs> that does fit with our theme. And then maybe some chips and salsa, because who doesn't like chips and salsa? Chips or bread? Oh, have fun cooking. I know that you're really tired. But we gotta get our home chef hustle. <laughs> Slamming doors. I've never done a rags to riches in The Sims, but what I will say is this does make me want to do a rags to riches where I have a Sim who maybe we give them just enough money to get the foods in and to make food. And then the challenge is complete when we have a full house. So that would be like a wow build mode. That would be like... A bedroom, a bathroom, a living room, and that's it. Like it's a, it's like a micro home. And once we have everything, then we're successful. I think that other counter is not working because I technically shoved, shoved the food stall into it, so I would have room back here. Chips and salsa done. Now I just need you to make some cheesy eyeballs. If you would have made those in the first place and not set them down, you probably wouldn't be so tired. Cheesy eyeballs. I know my cheese looks red when I make it. Is it just like an olive shoved in cheese? This girl is going to pass out if I don't send her to sleep. You can go to sleep now. You're all ready to sell your cheese extravaganza. Oh, there's so many plates in my backyard. You can take a nap at any time that you want, horse, okay? It's, it's fine. I still don't think that we can pay our bills, though. I don't think we have enough money. We have to spend money because we got to feed our pets. Tell me about, uh, do I have enough to pay my bills? I certainly do not. Sweater vest. Voting is now open. Yep, we're going to vote. We're going to do every, every mundane thing I own in The Sims. What can we vote for? What's going on with neighborhood action plans? We'll vote for fun-loving... Um, what is this? No, don't vote for that. Arts and crafts sound good. Let me just go remind sweater vest not to scratch things. Place a business sweater vest. Pickles, do you need another bath? Uh, uh. Maybe we'll close the cafe on Sunday. That seems okay. Even though we, we don't have enough money to do anything with our lives. All right, girl, eat your tacos. Um, you need fun. You need energy, too? We'll ask this lady about her day. We'll ask her, you know, hey, you want to buy something? Um, while you're hanging around, let me do something goofy. Because I like to be funny, and then I'll also ask you to buy something. It's fine. Pickles is upstairs sleeping, dreaming about playing fetch. Wrinkles is down here on the table next to Endeavor. I did tell her to argue with this old man, because he's our rival rancher. We kind of don't like the fact that he's hanging out in our house. 
So we might argue with him. He's going to the back of the line. Because he doesn't want to be buy my high quality, very expensive cheese products. Can I just have her tell a bunch of people jokes? Since she likes being silly. Okay, we'll cue that up. We'll see if that helps her fun. Yes, people be buying things. 120 simoleons. Yeah. Reached comedy level two, and that is getting our fun up. So that is awesome. Yeah, see, she's loving telling jokes. Yes, this bro bought a plate of cheesy eyeballs. I feel so bad for this old man. Every time I get around to him, I'm like, insult him. Yell at him. I don't know why I, all my actions just went away, but okay. Let's take a look around my house, see who's hanging out. Um, you know, you got this ghost guy. Oh, he loves sweater vest. Awesome, awesome. What's going on in the, uh, the sitting area in here? No one's in here. Um, is anyone outside with Endeavor? I don't even know where Endeavor is right now. He's just, he's welcoming people. He's like the door greeter at Walmart. Charisma level four. I feel like we made more money today. Was that just what we were selling? Or was it the fact that we were like joking around with everyone and not giving as many sales pitches? I don't actually know. Well, look, our sale's almost over and I feel like she's like, I don't want to get married for money, especially not to you, old man. I know you're single, but uh, you know, maybe get out of my house. I might have misjudged this horse because look, now that this horse knows how to eat, it's fine. Since we've made it through another day, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here.